Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. Today I am going to be printing this marble run game from Bamboo Labs on World Maker. I ordered the hardware kit from the Bamboo Labs website. It's called Marble Run Component Kits 003. When you get the kit, it has a QR code you can scan to pull up the print profile or just search Marble Run on Maker World. It is a huge print. It's much larger than I expected it to print. When I opened it in Bamboo Studio, it is 11 print plates and all 11 pieces I printed on the Bamboo X1 Carbon. Each print takes between 3 to 4 hours to print. So in total to print the entire marble run, it took me 33 hours and 47 minutes. I used the Overture PLA filaments in the shades white, pink, matte, light blue, and orange. I just switched between the three colors, and then the belt is the only thing I printed in the white filament. So this is the part that makes everything move. It carries the marbles up and back to that start. But it prints in four different pieces. These pieces have to be snapped together to create the loop, but they were super hard to snap together. I actually had to reprint this plate because I broke so many of the little teeth things trying to snap it together. But if you lay them flat and snap them firmly, that's the way to get them together. So you just have to be super careful if you print this yourself. But luckily, that was the only print I had any issues with. So for these, I didn't change any of the print settings. I didn't add any supports or anything to them because it seemed like they would print stable on their own. And they did. They printed in place, and even as they branch off and get tall, they printed fine. There wasn't much stringing, but you'll see later there's a few pieces that print a little rough or have a few skips, but not bad enough where they need to be reprinted. So I just repeat the same exact process for every piece. As you can see from this big piece right here, everything else is printing very clean, and they pop off the print bed super easy. This next piece has a lot going on. There's a lot of curving pieces for the marble to slide through, but on this one there's a lot of height differences, so I was worried about it hitting somewhere. But nope. This piece printed perfectly fine on the first time. This piece is like a little whirl bowl that the marble will go round and round in before dropping. So I'm hoping it prints smooth enough so the marble doesn't get caught up anywhere. Once it was done, I popped it off and it did print a little rough. It's definitely not as smooth as I would have liked it to be. But it could be easily sanded. Some of the little snags I just cut off with my clippers and once it was all together, it didn't matter that it wasn't perfectly smooth. As it finished up printing, I realized I probably should have printed this print in the light blue color because there's a lot of pink in one spot, but I just picked the pieces and their color randomly. But I wish I had thought about what pieces touched each other so the colors would be more equal. So this is the little slide. It's one of the last steps the marble goes through before going up the belt and restarting the track. I also hope this one printed really smooth, and I think it printed slightly smoother than the bowl piece, but again, it wasn't an issue. Also, the way the slide leaned at an angle and printed in space, I was concerned that might start to fall, but it also printed really nicely. I was impressed. You may have noticed by now that you have seen multiple different hands and more nail colors than ever before. It took all three of us flipping prints over multiple days to knock out this print. We do still have our regular items we have to keep up with, too. At this point, we have one X1C with AMS and two more X1Cs without AMS. And if my voice has sounded a little odd on this video, it's because I'm actually on vacation, and one of my assistants, Caitlin, is using an AI version of my voice to finish editing this video. Pretty crazy what technology is out there. Once we got all 11 build plates printed out, I laid them all out and organized them by color to make it easier to find pieces. While I was sorting, I also checked to make sure everything printed properly and there was nothing missing. On the Maker World website, there is an official Bamboo Labs step-by-step -step video tutorial to assemble everything. I followed that tutorial exactly to help me figure out which pieces go where. With the help of the video, I was able to figure it out fairly easy, and it came together quickly. The only part that was confusing was the belt. And when you're installing the belt, you have to be careful, because this is where I started breaking the little pieces off. The pieces basically print half-circle like screws that when lined up, you can put a screw cap over it and screw two pieces together. That's how they attach. There were a couple of pieces of the slide that seemed like they might not fit. But once I had them turned the right way, they fit together just fine. And I do like that I used multiple colors on this design. It makes it look a lot more fun and interesting. This is the component kit you need to make the belt run. As you can see, 
It comes with quite a few marbles, probably about 10 as well as the motor plug-in. Now, I've got everything attached. Let's plug it in and see if it works. It's just a normal USB plug, so I am just gonna plug it into my laptop. And right away, as soon as it's plugged in, the belt starts turning. So I go ahead and release the marbles to see if they can run the full course. There is a few spots that a couple of marbles get stuck at, but if you just push them with your finger, they will just continue. Other than that, the track seems to be running fine, and overall, I like this print. It printed pretty clean and was easy to put together. It did take a long time to print, but everything else is great. It's kind of fun to watch the marbles go around and around. I wouldn't really say it's soothing or relaxing to watch because of the noise of the marbles rattling. But it's pretty satisfying to see something come together and work so well with this motor. I think Bamboo was really smart to come out with these kits. This is a pretty large toy, and definitely the biggest of the bamboo kits that I've made. It's just over one foot in all directions. But it definitely works. I'm gonna run it a couple times through so we can really see and get the full effect of the marbles making the loop over and over. And you can see that even though that pink bowl section didn't print perfect, it still works fine. And then once you close this little gate, the marbles are held in place all together. Let me know what you guys think of this design and what you think of these bamboo kits. I'll definitely be trying out more. Thanks for watching.